Arsenal 3 Liverpool 3, honours even in Christmas cracker at the Emirates. There's something about these two sides meeting which leads to goals galore. This six-goal thriller made it a staggering 17-10 for Liverpool in their last five Premier League encounters. But at the end of this pulsating game, both sides failed in their quest to put even a tiny bit of pressure on Manchester City. They also showed why their respective managers, Arsene Wenger and Jurgen Klopp, are so desperate to make a high-profile centre-back signing. Still it made for a fantastic spectacle as three Ghana's goals and six sensational minutes sparked an amazing turnaround. It was looking like being a hard day's night for the North Londoners after two of Liverpool's Fab Four, Philip Coutinho and Mohamed Salah, put them 2-0 up, with a third band member, Roberto Firmino, then hitting an equaliser. Salah's strike came in the 52nd minute. But immediately after that came the incredible Ghana's revival which turned moans and boos into a Friday night frenzy. Alexis Sanchez sparked it in the 53rd minute with a header, followed by a granite Zaka Thunderbolt and a Masato Zil clinical finish before Firmino landed the goals on slot in the 71st minute. Arsenal's was quite a sensational comeback because up until Sanchez's goal, they had looked like they were suffering from a pre-Christmas hangover. They were awful and the home support did not hold back in letting them know it. It was a big occasion for Wenger, with the Frenchman having confessed he was still haunted by the 4-0 defeat at Anfield in August. Cutino did not play in that game, which came as Barcelona were pulling out all the stops to sign him. The playmaker once again showed why the camp giants want him so much, looking a class above early on. Cutino was joined by the other members of his band last night, Salah, Firmino and Sadio Mane. Striker Firmino failed to score with two headed chances. Then in the 26th minute Brazil ace Cotino showed how to do it. James Milner picked out the run of Salah. Laron Cossilny backed off and when Salah poked across it hit the Frenchman and fell perfectly for Cotino to nod over Pedersek. In the 44th minute another Milner through ball had Arsenal in deep trouble. Kossilnay slipped and presented the ball straight to Salah who should have scored, but saw his shot beaten away by Sek. Main had the chance to volley home the follow-up but sent his acrobatic effort just over. Halftime was met by a chorus of boos from home fans which got worse when Arsenal went further behind. Salah passed to Cutino who then cut out three Arsenal players to return the ball to his teammate. Substitute centre-back Chico Dren Mustafi stepped up to try to block Salah's shot but deflected it past Sek. But Arsenal hit back a minute later. Joe Gomez was caught hesitating and Sanchez got in front of him to nod home Hector Bellerin's cross. Then came that Zaka rocket to draw the game level three minutes later. Taking a pass from Alex Ibe he fired a stunning dipping thunderbolt from 25 yards. That was not all though with Ozil, who had been poor for an hour. Putting the home side ahead two minutes after that. The German passed Alexandre Lacazette, who backheeled brilliantly into his path leaving mm, to stroke home. Set kept out a main volley at his near post, but the Czech star could not deny Firmino. 
Emery can picked out the striker and although Sek parried his shot it looped up high and in. Goals may be great but now Manchester City are expected today at home to struggling Bournemouth to extend their lead over Liverpool to 20 points and Arsenal 21.